Welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics, and today we have a really interesting exponential equation, 2 to the power x equal to 7 to the power x plus 2. How can we solve this challenge? How can we find our x? In this video, I'm going to fully explain you how can we do this step by step. First of all, let's rewrite our challenge right here. So we have 2 to the power x equal to 7 to the power x plus 2. Here is our challenge. And if you look closely, on the right hand side we have 7 to the power x plus 2. This is addition in our power. If you know a little bit about power rules, so for example this rule, this is the most uh, important rule in this moment, so we have a to the power m plus n, we can write it as a to the power m times a to the power n, okay? So we can write it as a product, okay? Right here we write m product and a to the power n, okay? So let's do the same thing right here on the right hand side. So we have 2 to the power x equal to 7 to the power x times 7 times 7 square, okay? Times 7 square. What are we going to do next? Let's divide both sides by 7 to the power x. So I want to group our x's on the left hand side and our constant on the right hand side. This is really important, important moment. So let's divide both sides by by 7 to the power x, okay? By 7 to the power x. If we divide both sides by 7 to the power x, so let's do this in a new line. So we have 2 to the power x, we divide by 7 to the power x. And we have the same expression on the right hand side and we also divide this expression on the right hand side by 7 to the power x. Okay, by 7 to the power x. Okay, let's cancel this 7 to the power x. Okay, this is really great for us because right now we can easily write our expression on the left hand side 2 to the power x over 7 to the power x equal to 7 square. So we have only 7 square on the right hand side. So 7, 7 square. Okay, we need to know a really great rule in this moment. So this is our rule. We, if we have, for example, a to the power x, if we divide this a to the power x by b to the power x, so saying in other words, different bases but same power, we can write it as a over b to the power x. Okay, so we can write it in, in parentheses and I'll raise all of these to the power to the power x. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, let's separate our, our part right here. Okay, so let's continue solving with this moment. So 2, two over 7 to the power x. Yeah, so we have we have 2 over, over 7 to the power x equal to 7, 7 square. Okay, 7 square. Or 49, let's write it as 49, for example, but I want to write as a 7 square, okay? So right now, let's apply log on both sides. But what log? Let's write it as log base of 2 over 7, okay? So we have log, just take a look right here, log, right here, base 2 over 7 of this expression. So 2 over 7 to the power, to the power x, okay? Equal to log, log, 2 over 7, so the same base, of 7 square, let's write it as 49, for example, yeah, we can do this, okay, so 49. Okay, right here, this complicated expression, so this log 2 over 7, base of 2 over 7, gives us only one, so as a result, we have only our x on the left-hand side, so our x equal to, on the right-hand side, we have log 49 right here, and 2 over 7 as our base, okay, so 2 over 7, this is our this is our base. But let's simplify this a little bit. Let's simplify this. Let's write this 49 as 7 square. Yeah. So we have log base of 2 over 7. And right here we have 7 square. And that's for why for that 2 goes right here. Okay. This power goes right here. So this 2 goes in the beginning of this expression. So we have, we have 2 log 7 right here and base of 2 over, over 7. Okay, this is our answer, but let's find the solution. Let's use, for example, a log property. So let's write right here as 2 times log 7, and we divide all of this by log 2 over 7. Okay, this is a log property, so 2 over, over 7. This is our solution to this challenge. Let's write it, so x equal to 2 log 7, and in our denominator we have log 2 over 7. And I find this exact value for you, not exactly like approximately value for you, because we have approximately answer, this is not, not like integers, x approximately equal to, x approximately equal to minus 3.106. This is approximately answer, maybe someone want to look at this approximately answer, and I, I write it for you. 
Okay, so this is my explanation to this challenge. Uh, not like a hard challenge, but I want to look at, uh, I want to solve this step by step, like uh, rule right here, rule right here, so trick right here, uh, property right here. So I want to solve this step by step. I want you to understand, maybe someone don't like like a fast videos in two minutes. Uh, this is like a medium video for, for everyone. I hope you understand this explanation, okay? So thank you for your time. Have a great day. Also, thank you, thank you for your time. See you in the next videos.